Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm about to stay in a Disneyland hotel. There are eight of these spread around the park here at Disneyland Paris. And I thought I would go and stay in Sequoia Lodge, which is Disney themed, of course. It's not the most expensive hotel, nor is it the cheapest. It's kind of mid-level. And just before I go and check out the hotel, I thought I would show you just how close this is to the park because the park is literally within walking distance behind me. And um, what you see here is the Disney Lake. That's a huge balloon that goes up and you can see amazing sights of the park itself, although shut at the moment. That's the Newport Bay Hotel, which I was gonna stay in, but that is a lot pricier, but does look very impressive. My hotel though is kind of hidden. If you think of a North American lodge surrounded by pine trees, this is the style that this hotel is going for. Let's go and check it out, check out my room and see what it's like. I'll tell you how much it is at the end. The whole hotel is covered in pine trees. So if you want a room with a view, there's only a very small section of this hotel where you kind of get a view of the park. So let's head in, check into reception. Now I know it's January, but Christmas is still pretty much going on here at Disney. So that's why you'll see all the Christmas trees up. See the, you can see the vibe of the North American Indians. Look at that. It's quite a headdress. But I love the fact it's got that feel of literally being in a lodge. Of course, I do a, a walk around the hotel in just a little bit, but first we need to check in, which I believe is this way. Bonjour, uh, check in in please. Yes, I, like I need your magic uh, pass, it's a 180. Your room is next, the same floor of the reception. You have to turn on the left in the corridor, mm -hmm. south wing, 2181. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. So luckily, no lifts. So it's on this floor. To be honest, the map of the resort is quite simple to understand. South wing. Is that free? I think so. So you might hear Christmas music still playing because even though it's January, they're still celebrating Christmas here in uh, Disneyland. 2181. I think we need a light. So here we go. Put my map down there. Wow, the first thing I notice is the high ceilings. So I'm here with my daughter, little boy, so hopefully they're gonna get a cot in here or something. But huge beds. And of course, if you look closely, you see the Disney in each room. It's Bambi in it and, and Thumper. So I'll do the bed test in just a moment. Love the carpet, the theming of course, woodland lodges. And again, there's more Disney there, look. We've got some air conditioning, which actually looks pretty old. In fact, the hotel looks quite dated. Um, and as I came in the room, I realized that actually these rooms are fairly old now, especially when you look at the furniture, it's not new and plush, is it? Oh, it's one of those drawers that you open up. Looks like individual drawers, but they're not. What we've got here, Oh, a little postcard, a guest survey, and some other information. So the TV is built in that little cabinet. I've got a table and chairs, very rustic, pretty old actually. I take it this is for ice. I wanted to put some ice in. Let's turn this light on. A little vanity mirror. So the view from here, you can actually kind of see the park just over there. We should see some fireworks later if they go off. Obviously in a pine tree setting, you're not gonna see too much outside. So let's do the bed test. All nice, very nice and comfy. I'll do this one. Oh, now actually this one feels much better than this one, which is strange. It almost feels like this one is an older mattress and that's a newer one. That might be memory foam actually. And this is kind of just like a basic mattress. I like the attention to detail on the lights, but it's a shame there's only one working 
on each side. All these are lit up, Bambi and Thumper. So into the bathroom. This is what I mean about the old tired look. There's only one of those working and then there's four bulbs up there. So that's a little bit of a shame. So rather than an actual hairdryer, they've got this thing here, which I know Gabby won't be a big fan of. So an interesting design with the sink out here. Got some Disneyland soap, some plastic cups, some hand towels. It almost looks like this would be like a, a little mini bar. But that looks like that was probably a fridge or something. I don't know. So this is where you store your clothes. Obviously there's a safe there and I can put my suitcase there. So let's head into the bathroom. Behind the door is the toilet. The floor looks pretty old. Looks like this has actually been uh, tiled recently because it looks, compared to the rest of the room, rather new. But I like the fact they've got a bath stroke shower, nice big shower head. Never seen that before, a hydro shower head. So I'll move that and it comes out different jets and different pressures. Looking forward to trying that. Some complimentary shower gel. With the theming of the rest of the room, love the curtain with the leaves. Can't see if I've ever seen a bench in a bathroom before. Is that a French thing? I don't know, but quite interesting nevertheless. You can see the age of the hotel and the age of the room just by checking out the light switches. I mean, they are pretty old. I've got a phone there to ring reception. You know, all this is quite wood chipped as well, all these chips, but it is an old hotel now. It's been here for a, a long time. Let's check out the TV, make sure it works. Now for the size of the room, I guess I would have hoped for a slightly bigger TV, but this has been put in since the hotel's been here. At least the TV does work though, right? Gabby's just arrived. What do you think of the room? Um, but you're just waving at me. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm doing that. Oh, um, well, look, there's a little Mickey Mouse. <laughs> a, Mickey, a little Mickey Mouse running around. So personally, I should think that back in the day, it was really lovely. It's Looking very old tired. fashioned, yeah. It's nice, but yeah, it does look like it's on the worn out side a little bit, but that's yeah. all. I wouldn't say it was dirty or anything like that. It just needs a bit of an update, a bit of a facelift. He loves licking the mirror. Look. Stop licking the mirrors, you mirror licker. <laughs> you mirror licker. We bought this, by the way, not from the Disney park itself, because that would have probably cost a fortune. But as it's, um, we're here to celebrate his first birthday, we thought we would buy him a little Mickey Mouse top. Are you enjoying it? <laughs> He's happy. Well, I'll talk about how much I paid for this room in just a moment, but what's the rest of the hotel like? Let's go and check it out. I have to say, the hotel doesn't smell overly fresh and I did notice the smell of smoke. And if you look closely on the room doors, there is a no, no smoking sign on quite a lot of them. There's no smoking on this door. There's no smoking in the room that I'm in. But as you come over here, unless someone's pulled them off, it looks like you can smoke in your room. I could be wrong, but I can smell smoke. So with the package that we've bought, we actually get some complimentary coffee or tea. You'll notice there's no kettle in the room, but if we go to the fourth floor, there's a coffee machine there that we can actually get coffee or tea from. But let's hope it's not like this one. Because this, well, it, I don't know, it looks a little bit old. Really abrupt when the door's open, isn't it? Wow. That sofa. <laughs> look at the sofa. Wow. Someone's that... really worn that out. Yeah. Is it supposed to look like that? Or am I going crazy? No, surely not. It's a weird pattern. Is it just a pattern? That's a weird pattern. No, that is <laughs> that is really worn. Okay, so we're on the fourth floor. So I don't understand. She told us to come to the fourth floor for the free coffee, which mm. we've got one of these on our level as well. Mm. Mm. All right, so we get four teas or coffees or hot chocolate a right. day. We're only here for two days. Is this because they don't have a tea and coffee in the room? I don't know, but what are you going to have? Um, oh, you can't well, have anything, can I'm you? I'm sport the choice. I know that Holly wants a hot chocolate, so tap away and we'll... Um, Where do you do it? Here? So. It doesn't work. We don't understand what we have to do or what we're doing wrong. I'm just, oh, hang on. What? How does it work? You scan your card. And you press your button. Select your coffee. And then, you and then your grab it. Let's try it again. Scanning the card. Four pounds. Let's go downstairs, shall we? Oh, for God's sake. oh hang on. 
Oh, oh, delay, it's doing it. That is the weirdest machine in the world. <laughs> These fire doors that keep opening and closing. Never seen them before in a hotel. So it is pretty busy in here. So I'll do my best to avoid the people as we check out the hotel. It's, um, it's not overly that big in the sense of amenities. It's got a simple couple of restaurants. Obviously, this is the, the main reception that we came into. There's a concierge here. But the, uh, the bar and lounge is really nice. They're still celebrating Christmas here, look. It's a shame the uh, log fire isn't roaring as much as it was last night. It is starting to roar a little bit. And this is the, the bar area. It's a Monday night. Absolutely heaving. Really nice bar, actually. So let's head into the Golden Forest Lounge. Oh, it is actually open. This is cosy, you can watch some Disney Channel. Probably nice to come and have a cup of coffee in here. Ah, oh, look at the lights. They're all leaves, like maple leaves. This is really pretty. Following on from the theme, and obviously being a Disney hotel, even the baby chairs got Disney ears. And look at this, even in the hotel, the kids can come and see Minnie Mouse. Well, if I wanted to play chess or was it drafts, there's a table there. I'm going to go outside, I don't know how much I can see. The weather's not very good. A few seats out here. Sunbeds would be out here in the summer. But you can't really get much of a view of the park. It is directly in front of me. But like I say, you can go out of the entrance here and into the park. It's around about a five minute walk, which is quite handy. but. A hotel from this side is huge. We just got to try and find where the swimming pool is. There's no signs to it whatsoever. So I've just found out where the swimming pool is. It's actually outside. So this is where you would park your car around the back here. Again, they actually have loads of speakers with birds tweeting away. Can you hear that? As you can see, they've still got the Christmas lights up. That's going to be a bit of a job to take down. So I don't know how much of the simple I can film. But I do know it goes outside as well. And the outside of the swimming pool, obviously, understandably, is currently closed. And that's it there. In fact, yeah, it's full of pine needles. It's quite a long walk from the hotel, depending where you're staying. Like I'm staying all the way over there. So it's around about a five minute walk to get to the pool. Hello. Oh, they have a visitor section. Great. Thank you. So it's quite small, but there's a little slide in there. It's not too bad. And a little jacuzzi here too. Seriously, we are here at the most quietest time of the year, but everything is just so busy. There are queues everywhere. That's quite a queue for the restaurant. Okay, so dinner-wise at this hotel, it's £45 for an all-you-can-eat buffet in there. There's actually no restaurants where you can just go in and order a meal. There is a bar snack menu, but that's about it. So we understand that there's a restaurant that we can actually order food in just very close by here. That's the New York Hotel, so let's go and check it out. This was a lot more expensive. Was it? Yeah. It feels a bit like a, a Vegas hotel, doesn't it? Wow, look at this going up to the lifts. Any Marvel fans will absolutely love this hotel. 
So what we're looking at price-wise, Gabby? Bearing in mind, it was £45 a head for the buffet, all you can eat, what we've got here. It depends what you want, but you're still looking at 30 plus. Fillet of sea bass, grilled prawns, suckling pig, or free range chicken. That's pretty much it. Or we can have a risotto. Oh, there's pasta as well. 30 euros for a bolognese, what do you think? Well, I think it's crazy, but I expect it. Dinner is served. Are we cheap? Yes, definitely. So we decided to come to what is this place called? Stonehenge. I think this place is called New York Sandwiches or something. But for the price of this, not even for one person for a buffet. And because we're on a budget, we thought we'd go cheap tonight. <coughs> Gabby went for fish and chips. I, however, have gone for a hot dog and I've gone for some fries as well. So breakfast is all you can eat for 24 euros. Not quite sure whether we'll do it, but we'll have a look. I don't know whether I want to pay 24 euros for it, really. Are they little mini pancakes? They are. That's where your jam comes out. I thought that was drinks for a second. Of course, there'd be croissants here. Is it a sort of food? Do you think it's worth it? Well, there didn't seem much left. Oh, really? I've tried these before at um, Gatwick Airport. Make your own pancakes. There's quite a collection building up there. Some Disney themed breakfast, Mickey Mouse waffles, scrambled egg, sausages. It sounds like we're being overly picky, but for 24 euros per person with Holly, that would have cost us about 70 euros. We thought we could go for breakfast a lot cheaper, but it doesn't matter because there's always the Earl of Sandwich that does breakfast up until 11.30 a.m. Mind you, you can get some food options depending on who you book your hotel stay with. Uh, we've gone for a breakfast at the Earl of Sandwich. I'm not quite sure what this is like. Wow, look at that self-contained breakfast. Everything you need, eggs, bacon, toast, and beans. Also, I've got a tea and Gabby's got a coffee. So it was, uh, I think it was 11 euros. So when you're on a budget, actually, it's not bad. It's the better for this area. We're well bumps. Not bumps. Well, it's definitely great to unwind in a room like this. Let's talk about the pros of this hotel first of all. The pros are the location. It's right on Disney Lake and it's so close to the Disney parks. It's cozy. It makes you feel like you're in a forest. You know, it gives you that vibe. That's so the, the coziness it, yeah. is there with this. There's a shops here, but there's shops that are souvenir shops. So shops where you can go and buy Mickey Mouse hairbands yeah. and pajamas and things like that. But you can't actually buy things to eat and drink. Not really. So the swimming pool actually was quite nice. Very small for the size of the property, but it was still pretty good. They've got an outside bit, which is closed obviously in the winter. So let's just talk about the room. For me, it felt a little bit dated. It felt tired. There was like scratch marks all over the furniture. The carpet didn't overly look that clean. The bathroom actually looks like it's had a little bit of modernization done to it, but the rest of the room for me felt a bit old and tired, but the bed was comfy. Yeah, I'd say exactly the same. It is very old and tired, does need a bit of an bit of a facelift and I don't know whether the rooms are non-smoking or smoking I think some of them must be because I can smell smoke going through the corridors yeah. really can it's that old musty smoke smell so whether that's old or new I don't know uh, would I stay here again personally I wouldn't I'd probably want to try and stay at a different Disney hotel but the location is brilliant I definitely want to try the Newport Bay Beach Hotel that does look nice one thing else I want to add to this is that you can hear birds tweeting all around the house. And you can hear these outside and inside through speakers, which is really weird. So if you're wondering about the price, with two days worth and two parks to go and visit at Disneyland Paris and the hotel stay as well, it cost me £724. Now, obviously the Disney parks are quite a big chunk of that. So around about £480 the cost of the hotel for two nights. Yeah, that's still fairly expensive. I guess it's worth paying that much more as well because literally you are within walking distance to the park rather than having to get on a shuttle. Even though they do provide a shuttle here, which I don't understand why when it's about five minute walk. If you wanna see our adventures at Disneyland here in Paris, the link is in the description. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe, comment below. Have you stayed here? Would you stay here? And I'll see you next time.